Welcome in, everybody. This is the Computer Workshop. Uh, if you are here to look at the Word 2019 Compare feature or tool, then you are in the right place. Do take note that this is going to be the 2019 version of Word. So if you're working on a prior version or a newer version, uh, it may not look the exact same. Uh, next thing is I will be your guide today, Andy Daly, and I'm an employee here at the Computer Workshop. So this will be real brief, it'll be real brief, but uh, it'll be a very important tool that we're going to cover that, you know, is maybe a little lesser known, um, and the the ability, the effect that it will bring to you uh, is, is uh, very valuable. So we can see here we've got two files, two files, Word 2019 Comparison Feature and Word 2019 Comparison Tool. Two different titles, so if we also go through and look at this, we can see the length of, of, of some of these paragraphs are a little bit longer, and then also um, there's some text riddled within here that's also been changed. Even just a quick scroll to the bottom, we can see like we have a footer in here with different authors. Scrolling back up to the top, we can see our header up there at the top also has some changes. It would take us a little while to manually review those changes and then take these and import them into our original file. Uh, especially ones that like maybe we liked some of the changes, but we didn't like all the changes. It can take a little while to do that manually. Fortunately, Word gives us the option to do this automatically. Uh, it's, you know, we still have to manually review some changes, and that's an important thing. Uh, that's an important feature uh, that you know we want to make sure we're, we're doing that correctly. Uh, but we'll break that down when we get there. For now, all we have to do is select the Review tab. I should also note, make sure you've got two files that are of similar origin. Uh, so you can see here, this file uh, on the left is our original file up there at the top. The one on our right is our revised copy. All we're doing is we're layering a revised copy of this file over. If this file over here to the right was completely different, and it was a completely different file, it probably wouldn't make sense for us to use this compare tool. So just make sure we're, you know, when we actually utilize this feature, the two files are of similar origin. Next thing that we're going to do is we're going to select the, so after we've selected the review tab, we're going to select the compare button. That will give us a drop down list. And there's a couple of options in here. If you guys would like to see a breakdown on some of these different features, major version, last version, combined, uh, please drop a comment down below. Or if throughout this video you guys have something else that you would like to see, or maybe you'd like to see a more in-depth tutorial, some other you know situations explored, please, again, drop a comment down below and let us know. So while we're here, let's go ahead and select the compare option. That will bring up our compare window, compare documents window, I should say. This allows us to bring in two documents. One will be our original, and since we already have this labeled, we know right away which one's going to be our original document. This will be the one that our changes get layered over top of. It'll make a little more sense here in just, uh, just a moment. The next thing is, is that we're going to be bringing in a revised document. That will obviously be the file over there to our right. So if we hit this drop down list, we can either select browse and choose a file that's maybe not open or uh, you know, we haven't used in a long time. You know, we can browse our actual directories for a file that way. Or we could just scroll down a little bit and try to find our file that way. Luckily, in our case, we can see we have a Word 2019 comparison original file created for us already. Uh, so we can select that. That's there. That's good. Next thing we want to do is we want to bring in our revised document. So that'll obviously be our Word 2019 comparison tool revised. Let's select that. We can see here we have this label changes with Andy Daly. You can change this if some if, if you know the person that that uh, that was making the revisions in this re, in this revised file, you can supply the name for them there. It picked up that this is going to be me making the changes, so we won't have to really do anything there. That's good. We'll leave that as is. There's also a more options, a more options button. If we select that, we'll get a couple checklists that we could, you know, that we could that we could customize this comparison feature a little more with. We could choose to exclude headers and footers, footnotes, endnotes, text boxes, fields, all that stuff. If you want to see a more in-depth breakdown for that, we could absolutely do that. Again, please leave a comment down below if you would like to see a more advanced tutorial. For now, we're going to stick with this is a real basic one, just introducing you guys to this, and we're going to select OK. Right away, take note that our 
comparison original file is still intact. We haven't added it or done anything to that. Um, this one here off to the left, this is still intact. The new file over here, the file that popped up for us is this document seven. It's the Word 2019 comparison, uh, actual changes being layered over top of each other file. So if I pull this out of the way, you'll see that neither one of the revision, revised copies, or the original copies were changed. It created a brand new copy for us. So let's go ahead and expand this. And real quick as well, for you guys, there will probably be a, um, a set of two copies, so like your original file and your advice file over here to the right. It allows you to just quickly browse what's being contained within each of those documents. Nothing of the utmost importance, so you can go ahead and close out of those. There'll be a little bit of an X on each one of those panes there. You can go ahead and close out of those if you would like. <clears throat> Next thing is, we can quickly see, we've got a couple of strike throughs, some red text on our document. The red text is just signifying that a change has been made and if we hover over that text, we can see the actual change that's been made at that position. So if I hover over my footer, or I'm sorry, my header up there at the top, you'll see that I have a change to the feature word. If I hover over it, we can see that Andy Daly deleted this at 12, uh, 2 12 p.m. Uh, and he deleted the word feature. So again, if I scroll over to any of these changes, I'll get a quick tooltip that describes those changes that were made and when they were made and who made them. What we're going to do here is we're going to utilize the real nifty feature of accepting or rejecting changes. So right away, the title is highlighted for us. This means that this is going to be our start point. We're going to start at the very top of our document, uh, the, the actual written section of our document, which is going to be the title. And since I do like this change, the feature tool, I'm going to accept it and move on to the next. All we have to do is select the check mark there. There is a drop down list below the check mark. That will give us a couple more options. We can select the default accept and move to next, or we could just accept this change and stay at this position, or we can select the accept all changes or all changes and stop tracking. We are going to select for now the accept and move to next since we changed feature to tool. It would make sense that we update our terminology within our document to reflect that change. So let's go ahead and update the feature, uh, the uh, accept the feature and tool change in that first sentence. And then also I do like the capitalization of the word application word within the uh, first sentence as well. So I'm going to accept the deletion of the old word and bring in that new uh, capitalized word as well. And I'm going to do that for both of these changes. This will move us to the allow us to, to layer compare change that was made there. Again, we can see the strike through lets us know that layer was deleted and replaced with compare. I'm not a big fan of this change so much. I like the idea of letting people know that it's a layer. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to reject that change. And as, as a result, I'm also going to reject the insertion of the compare word. This will bring us down to the next. And just real quickly, if I browse these and I review them real fast, I do like these changes. I don't really need to step through the rest of these. What I'm going to do is I'm going to hit the drop down list under accept. And I'm, going to, I'm just going to go ahead and accept all changes. That will accept the changes from my document here. Again, it, this, this brought in a new document, so when we save this document, it's not going to override our original or override the revised. Um, last thing to note as well, we have this revisions pane that opened up that shows us um, sort of like a quick capture of all the revisions that were made, 10 insertions, 10 deletions, since there were no moves or comments, those are obviously zeros. And it says three formatting changes, so you know whether it's some spaces, some tabs, maybe some text was changed, font size was changed, all that would calculate under the formatting revisions there. But we're going to wrap this up. I'm going to save my file. Again, since this is a new file, we're probably going to want to name this something um, unique. Since this is the completed version, I'm going to name this. I'm going to throw the completed word. Um, I'm going to add that to my file name, Word 2019 Comparison Tool Completed. And we can go ahead and press Save. We can press save, and that will give us our saved version of the file that we can then distribute accordingly. And that wraps up the compare feature. So please like, comment, subscribe. If you guys would like to see any new features, uh, we will absolutely get on those as quick as possible. Just let us know what you would like to see in the future. And um, if you would also like to see more work, again, please let us know. Thank you, and thank you for stopping by as well. Have a good day.